kill people. I was provoked. By what? Hmm? What provoked you? By the woman with whom I had been staying. Mm -hmm. She did what? She was always telling me that the children that we have are not mine, that they have their own different father. Mm -hmm. And when I got to retired, she rejected me and started sleeping alone. Mm -hmm. And even refused me, refused me access to the business that I had given her to manage. Mm -hmm. So we stayed separated for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. But after some time she became pregnant mm -hmm. and claimed that the child the, yeah. the pregnancy was even mine in front of the officers who came from here and the villagers. She claimed that the pregnancy was mine. And yet we had spent more than two years without staying together, without, I mean, sleeping together. Then they said that you wait until the woman delivers and then you go for a DNA test. We waited, but when she got delivered, instead of going for the DNA test, she took the baby somewhere. Hmm? Yes, go on. Yeah, she took the baby somewhere where I didn't know, and she came back to the same family protection unit and wanted to be given the business. So, I don't know what they did, but I think they refused. But she later on went to the district probation office. The district probation officer called us and said, well, the children that you have are still minors. You have to look after them together. And the baby who is not yours, don't mind about that. I said, you are caring for children, you are caring about children. Do you care about those wh whose fathers you know? They said, ah, you don't have a mind about that. And so I agreed. And we decided how we would now do business together. So I, I, tell, I said that you occupy that part of the business premises and I occupy this. Then she got a worker and put her there. And I also started working alone. Then she said she was going to show the world that she had money. She rented some business premises in another person's building. 